House of Y'all's Pop Who's Cracking It's Steve Boss Rex is lovely TV Vince title. Freddie P says the cheesecake debacle was for Beyonce. <laughs> All right, I'm like getting forced now. People are like trying to drag Beyonce into this whole Diddy situation. It's like, okay, let it happen naturally if that's the case, but it's, it's feeling a bit forced anyway. And Suge Knight speaks uh, Blast, Clive, Andre, and Usher. Oh, this is what I was just talking about in a different reaction. I was talking about uh, Suge Knight exposing stuff from jail. Uh, but yeah, let's see what everybody has to say. Let's watch. Tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So we got to talk about this Diddy situation. It's even more... Who no, stuff no. coming down the pipeline. So if you guys do not know, Freddie P from Making the Band, I've talked about Freddie over the years on this channel. Now, we've also talked about the infamous Ooh. cheesecake situation that went down in about 2003, where he forced the Making the Band members to walk to Junior's, which is in Brooklyn, for a cheesecake, okay? And this was like, we've never seen nothing like this on reality television. And technically, we haven't seen anything like this since. But it was insane. He made these kids walk all the way to Brooklyn for a slice of Hold cheesecake. Let me go ahead and refresh your memory. Here goes a snippet of that scene right here. Junior's is hot. Yo, fam. Puffy just told us to go to the store in Brooklyn and bring about the cheesecake and walk. Cheesecake, what? Yeah. 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 I see me on TV. Yeah. Punk ass bitch, though. It's crazy. I'm going to Brooklyn. I'm going to Brooklyn. That's it. I live, y'all. Yeah. 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 Puffy just told us to go to the store in Brooklyn and bring about the cheesecake and walk. So that oh. scene forever lives in infamy. Um, it lives rent free in my head. And so Freddie P did an interview time? yesterday with, with <laughs> Art of Dialogue, and basically would it have taken them a couple hours, five hours, ten hours a day? I don't know. Interview. He said know. that that cheesecake was not for to kids. Brooklyn from where? That when they came back with the cheesecake, because other people they walked back, so it took them three hours to walk to, oh. uh, to Brooklyn and three hours to come back. Oh six. Him and Thank Dylan, you. Thank they you. ended up taking a cab or something back to yeah, the hotel, so they got there three hours before everybody else. And um, Diddy basically said, "Go give that shit to Beyonce. The cheesecake was for Queen B. Child, you can't make this shit up." Go ahead and check this out. Okay, it fun fact. A lot of people don't know that cheesecake we went and got with Beyonce. Cheesecake. She was upstairs the whole time. Uh, what we was talking about again? Hold on. Uh, yeah, that's a fun fact. People don't know. People like y'all want to get a cheesecake. It was for Beyonce. I'll do it again. Did she eat it? But uh, and uh, me and Dylan got back first. Let me tell you how green these niggas is. So I'm the type of nigga. I listen to everything he says as if it's a contract. So if you say walk to the store or walk to give me some cheesecake, I'll walk to give you some cheesecake, but I'm not walking back. He ain't tell us to walk back. So we already in the hotel like three hours before they got there when they said he was coming. We went and met him in front of the building. 
And you know, the first thing I said out of his mouth, I didn't say it. He said, uh, I said, oh, uh, we got a cheesecake. He's like, oh, I'm gonna take that shit upstairs from Beyonce. And he said, uh, it was like, yeah, man, we want to tell you, uh, Fred and Dalon, they ain't walk back. You know, I'm trying to be on some snitch and shit. He's like, I ain't tell you to walk back. <laughs> I ain't tell you to walk back. Y'all walk back. Like, yeah, I'm like, all right, so you guys just heard what Fred Remember he Beyonce said, said, go he said give it to Beyonce. Because <laughs> so I don't want it. So this caused a lot of drama yesterday on the internet. A lot of people were shooketh. You know, again, Queen B, Jay-Z, a lot of these celebrities folks have been giving them the side eye. People are even saying that Jay-Z has scrubbed his Instagram page, oh. which I don't follow him or Beyonce, so I don't know how their page looked like before or after. People are saying that Pink also scrubbed her Twitter page. We know Usher, Usher um, claimed that he was hacked, but his whole history on Twitter has been deleted. So it's a lot of crazy Ooh. stuff going on in the industry right now. But now what's even crazier is that Suge Knight, who we know is in prison for like the next 20 years or something Damn. like that, yeah, he ended that. up calling into Chris Cuomo's show to speak about the situation further that's going on with Diddy. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this snippet right here. Okay, good. Good. Okay, but you had a guy named Kevin who worked for Interscope. This guy's job was to bring underage girls and girls to have time. sex with employees and other artists. That's disgusting. To the point where Children? his friend got caught up with the same thing. How they raided Puppy House and Sex Trafficking? They raided his friend house and Sex Trafficking. You have 60 seconds remaining. He never was always. Should I be like, I think you think that you're positive in the whole situation? I didn't hear all of it. You know, I'm saying this positive. Hang out here and call Brett back. All right, Shook, you call back. Do you think that Diddy. Do you think Diddy knows enough that it's a very delicate balance that maybe investigators will want to know these other names and greatly reduce his exposure to criminality to time? versus what people would do to keep him quiet. Number one, I've been known him a long time. And we was friends. We're not enemies, but we were friends. He's not a dummy. So he's smart enough to work his magic. On top of that, this man right here, he been involved with the FBI and uh, of his career. Yeah, he got powerful people. One of his partners who started his company with drug money, President Obama, got him out of prison. Mm -hmm. So it's not like she don't have no moves. So I don't, I don't think nobody should just count him out. Mm -hmm. I don't think he, he going to lay down and just crawl in the corner and die. He probably going through a lot of shit right now because he probably going through a lot of withdrawals for the drugs. But the industry got him on drugs. My artist, well, my, one of the worst mistakes I could have made for a detective my artist it's going to be like Interscope. When my artists used to pull up in ballet, the Rodak building, they get out, they smell like weed. When they, they clothes smell like weed. When they, when they made it to any office, it would smell like weed. Those guys, for my artists, they didn't do cocaine to my artists. So what they got on cocaine, what they got on drugs, what they got on alcohol, and that's where alcohol. the weird stuff happened. And I think that's what took Puffy down that lane. That was, you got to remember, Brian Davis, Russell Simmons, Andre Arell, Diamond, come on. Better believe it. Alcohol, drugs, he compromised his manhood. Because he was taught that. He got Usher as a kid. They never recorded no songs, but alcohol, drugs, Diamond. sex. Just Bieber. And see, they do these things to take control. They're not doing There's nothing wrong with being gay. You choose to be gay, that's your preference. But they do this to people for control. Mm. It's a power situation. All right, so y'all just heard what mm. Suge Knight had to say. What you know, Suge Knight is literally repeating verbatim what I have been saying for years on this channel. That this goes deeper than Diddy. You got to look at the Clive Davises of the world, Andre Harrell. Mm. They turned that man out. Suge even said... When artists were with him on death row, the most they could do was smoke weed. But once they started becoming more commercial, they were introduced to cocaine. Remember, Selena Powell said that Snoop Dogg was doing bumps of lying off of her coochie. 
Okay. Ooh, what she said? Snoop Dogg was hearing coke off her coochie. She said this years ago. Now another thing I find interesting is that recently somebody ran into Clive Davis and they asked him, you know, well, Clive, what do you think about the Diddy allegations? And now Clive is trying to play crazy. He's trying to play like a senile old man, acting like he doesn't know who Diddy is. Uh, bitch, first of all, we have plenty of receipts showing you alongside Diddy. But see, that's what they're going to do now. Now he's out there on his own. Okay? Mm. So all these people are going to try and play willfully ignorant, especially the older ones. Mm. And that's the same thing, you know, that Harvey Weinstein tried to do. When he was out here raping people and, and being a sexual <laughs> deviant, he was walking just fine. Uh, nah, nah. And once he got go arrested and had to go through court, all of a sudden he needed a walker, he needed a cane. Yeah. So these guys know how to play Thanks this little game that they play. Check out what Clive Davis had to say. People are curious about the status of P. Diddy. Uh, P. Diddy. <laughs> Diddy. What do you make of that situation? Okay, you can hear it just fine. I don't see no hearing aid, nigga. Right. No comment from Clyde Davis. They threw uh, uh, Bill Cosby in jail so they could go in. Major oh. influence on the career of P. Diddy. Have you spoken to him since the federal raid? I'm not taking pictures. <laughs> Have you spoken to Sean Combs? The way his face switched up. Any comment, Mr. Davis? Any comments about Diddy? He credits you as one of his mentors. Where did those dog come from? Okay. <laughs> media these dudes be untouchable <laughs> did he thought he could be up in those spaces and he forgot you're a guest in the house of clive davis and these mm. white overseers mm. okay he thought that he was so big and bold that he was the black version of clive davis that he could go after diageo he could be a sexual deviant on the same level as a clive davis they will always have the complexion for the protection again? you see how he didn't answer no questions he acted like the dude wasn't in there he rolled up that window like, bitch, next. <laughs> Who you can't make this stuff up? Also, let's not forget that back in the day on the original Machiavelli cover that people are now trying to buy, it's going up for auction for what I'm hearing. On the original Machiavelli Tupac? cover, you had, this is, there was an artist who drew this. His name was Ronald Risky Brent. And basically on the back of that album cover, this was the original one. It wasn't approved for the masses. And this is why. It shows Notorious B.I.G. as a pig. Um, and then it shows Diddy in a tutu. In a dress. So, what? you know, showing and, that, that Diddy that Madonna behind? he has a male head, but then the female body. And then a lot of people were wondering who's who the woman somebody? behind this other guy. Like, who's this other guy? Well, the other guy in the album cover is Dr. Dre. Oh, and he that's got the ass behind too Dr. Dre. That's a grown ass man. Okay? And we've known for years that Dr. Dre is bisexual. Tupac talked about walking oh, in on him. You know, Dr. Dre out here eating pussy and sucking Wait, dick. Wait, wait, huh? And that's not a woman behind Dr. Dre. That's a grown ass man. Okay? And we've known for years that Dr. Dre's bisexual. Tupac talked about walking in on him. You know, Dr. Dre out here eating pussy and sucking dick. Pac said this years ago before. What? Play the clip. This whole oh, industry I never heard that. is a fuck fest. And this whole Diddy situation is going to open up a can of worms like never before seen. Either he's going to have to tell everything he knows to try and get a sweetheart deal. If not, something may happen to him because he has a lot of connections to a lot of people. You even heard Shig Knight saying Obama's name. Usher. Justin Bieber. This is a sick cycle. Even now, I was so shocked yesterday. I was on Twitter and I seen Hakeem trending. And I'm thinking it's some Muslim man named Hakeem. I click on there if the dude that played Hakeem on um, Empire, Bashir Gray, literally his asshole, everything getting busted down wide open. Wait, and I'm huh? hearing now that he has OnlyFans. He's having, he's gay for pay. Like, what happened to this young man? Do you have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> I gotta see this. Hold on. <laughs> I was just so shocked by what I was seeing on my Twitter timeline. Just straight graphic pornography, straight graphic sex with this young man that used to be on Empire. So oh, young man. the whole situation is just insane. But let's go ahead and get the discussion oh, popping, y'all. Let me know y'all stop. Hold on, child. Let me see what I can find, okay? Let's see if we can get some clips going. Sometimes it's hard to find these because People start spamming their own little videos and their own OnlyFans. 
Oh, oh, he posting it himself. Oh, this is disturbing. Oh. oh, oh, this is disturbing. Why his booty cheeks on the sink? <laughs> oh, oh, not you dropping it. <laughs> Not you dropping it low in the shower. No, I gotta watch this later with sound because this is <laughs> Listen, that is a grown man. How old is Brashear? Okay, because she's like, oh, that young man, they turned that young man out. First off, we don't know that. This man could have been gay his whole life. This is a 30-year-old man, okay? I don't like when people try to make it seem like, oh, they they did this to him. They did this bad thing to him. Some people are just gay. <laughs> and, and that's okay. It's fine if that's his sexuality. Like, he could have been gay well before he started his acting career. Um, but he is putting it all out there. I'm up here looking for the hashtag, you know, the whole time. He's posting it willingly on his own, on his own Twitter account. And it's very graphic. Oh my goodness. Go check it out if you like. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting <laughs> I was not expecting to see that job. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what the video. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye. <laughs> Ciao. Let me get it with sound.